I'm Chris Corson. I'm the owner and technical director and founder of EcoCore High Performance Building Systems. And we fabricate passive house components and passive house certified wall assemblies. I started building double stud walls in like 2000. Um, I built our first straw bale house in, I don't know, like 1996, 97, you know? And so I went from that sort of like, do it yourself, like hippie spectrum to um, come full circle to sort of where we are today. You know, the first passive house I designed was in like 2007. Um, it was a double stud wall. And, you know, through trainings and contact with different people and conversations that I had, um, we sort of started working with this sort of hybrid TJI box beam wall assembly and you know there were a lot of things right off the bat that that made a lot of sense the window detailing thermal bridge free construction ease of construction dedicated control layers um, I mean the the assembly sort of answers all of those questions and addresses all of those questions you know that really opened up the door and created possibilities for us to be able to use our imaginations and just deliver homes in a, in a different way and to build buildings in a different way. I think those details on the wall behind me are, are a product of um, a thought and evolution process that evolved, you know, sort of through what we were doing, super insulated construction um, and into, you know, Passive House. And my vision has been to incorporate you know, Passive House as the global building energy standard as a baseline for architectural design to use that as the norm, the new norm is Passive House, and then use that as a stepping point and a launching pad towards just building better buildings and that will thus decrease the consumption of energy, it will increase the comfort of the inhabitants will increase the comfort of our clients it helps support the community and with precision um, that's been reserved for other technological sectors like the automotive industry the technology industries the computer industries all of these sectors have evolved you know exponentially since World War II and our housing market is stagnated we're literally building homes today down the street in the same exact way we built them in 1942. We've invested in um, some new equipment and some CNC, a CNC machine, and have upped our game, so to speak, in terms of being able to process and deliver components and to cut some components. And, and a lot of that has been um, precision and cars are built precisely, electronics are built precisely, and I think that we can build homes precisely. And it's not a disposable item, it's a thing that's gonna last for hundreds and hundreds of years. And so, um, why not be precise? I believe in doing things precisely because the difference between 70% or 80% and 95% is just a little bit of effort when it comes to construction, right? We try to shave seconds here and time there, and, and that doesn't increase quality, you know, that's at the detriment of the end user. To be able to integrate the design process with the fabrication or the construction process and the delivery process is, um, it's a really, fun way to, to build things. People have asked me what, how much waste do you, um, do you guys have in comparison to like a normal construction or a site built construction? And, and I don't, um, I don't know what the true honest answer is to that other than a lot less, a lot, a lot less. We go through a 15 yard roll off like every couple of months after we built three houses. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the waste that we do have is, is reincorporated into future projects. So it's, 
It's constantly being recycled from, from sheet goods down to smaller sheet goods down to the end product being little bits and, and pieces that just really can't be used for anything. Um, and all of that stuff is the engineered lumber and then that goes unfortunately into the waste stream but it's a very small amount by comparison. Um, all of the kiln dried lumber, all the spruce, the pine, the fir, larch, hemlock, whatever it is we're using, cypress, those all get processed down to, you know, bits that are this size and then, you know, half the guys on the shop floor load up boxes of them and take them home and use it for kindlings. It becomes, you know, sort of biomass. Um, and so we live in a, a heavily forested state in Maine and a lot of people heat with wood here um, because oil is so expensive. I know that one of my primary drivers um, for becoming involved in Passive House was the capacity for us to reduce the energy consumption of a building by 80 or 90 percent to truly have an effect on anthropogenic climate change in an industry that's ultimately responsible for you know, nearly 50% of the entire CO2 impact globally, right? So as an architect, as an engineer, as a builder, I think that there's a categorical imperative to embrace these technologies, to embrace these paradigms, and to, you know, use your career as a means for eliciting a change. And if we're not doing that, then, then what, are we, what are we really accomplishing? And I consider it a responsibility of the profession. How do we address that? I mean, we need to decrease CO2 concentration in the atmosphere, and we need to do it immediately. We choose our products based on primarily uh, sustainable materials, zero VOC materials, and ultimately we're building healthy, comfortable homes out of healthy, sustainable materials with minimal toxicity. Proclima as a company is, is directly aligned from a philosophical standpoint. You know, you look at um, almost all of their products are zero VOC products and, and you can tell, you can, you can tell it when you use the materials. You, you don't smell the adhesives. When you use Contega HF, um, you don't smell the off-gassing of, of amines and all the other chemicals, the volatile organics that you would normally smell with, with silicones or, or other adhesives. And, you know, the, the reality is, you know, Proclima, in my opinion, is the, the best tape in the construction industry. And the same goes for the fabrics and the membranes um, in terms of delivering the highest quality product we tend to the marketplace and hopefully as close to cost parity with regular construction as we can achieve and, and we'll continue to diligently improve on that. So those are, those are some of the reasons why you know, we chose Proclima and because black's my favorite color and my tail's black. <laughs> And I grew up having the adults in my life telling me, like, it was my grandfather, my parents, my teachers, everybody, like, you know, I was the kid who had to learn things the hard way, right? And that's because I didn't take everything for granted. I had to explore and touch and feel these things, and I had to learn things myself. And so and if you look at uh, a normal wall assembly versus an eco-core wall assembly, I think that... The eco core wall assembly is extremely complex by comparison but i think if you look at it as an object as a series of parts that work together um, i think it, it makes a lot of sense and i think it's the most rational answer to the question how do we insulate how do we air seal how do we provide thermal comfort all of these things i think that's a logical rational um, solution for those for those issues um, and the people that we're building homes for are, are happy and comfortable and healthy and living in these homes and enjoying them. And, you know, I get emails and text messages in the middle of February and, 
you know, it's like, oh my God, I only use like 600 kilowatt hours for the entire month. And it's like the coldest season on record in 50 years, a hundred years. And, and so to get these responses and to get, to have the feedback loop fulfilled by the end user, I think is really um, a positive step and a, a step in the right direction. You know, the precision component, um, I think adds value um, not only to the end users and not only to the components and to the product, but ultimately it adds value, I think, to our lives as, as builders and carpenters and to be able to look at something at the end of the day and walk away from that panel or for that home and honestly say to ourselves, like, listen, this is the absolute best way that a home can be built today. And like, we just did that. And I hope in time, five to 10 years, you know, we can, as a company, elevate the entire industry. Um, and we'll see if that happens or not. But to be able to walk away and be able to honestly say to our clients, like nobody can build a better house than we just built for you, I think is, is rewarding. Yeah, that guy's cool. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good luck.